I'm going to show you how to turn this $20 bill into a stripping basket. Links to all the materials used in this video will be in the description below. But I will say, when it comes to getting the funnels, I do recommend going to your local auto parts store. I tend to see the prices in person being a little bit better for those. I am using a design that I've never seen anywhere else. These funnels look a lot like what you see when you buy a stripping basket in the stores. I only put four in there because I thought less is more. The other thing that's really neat about what you might see about this design is it's got a curve right here. If you think about the way the hip is shaped, you can put that right down on the hip and it is completely ergonomic. Because we aim to geek out on all things fishing here on the channel, I understand that some of you may never have heard of a stripping basket before or don't know what they're good for. I used to be in the same shoes as you. I didn't used to use a stripping basket, but there are lots of good reasons to use a stripping basket. Many freshwater applications um, don't actually need a stripping basket because a lot of times you're just wading in calm water or maybe you know not casting that far. But if you're doing a longer cast and you've got a lot of line out or a lot of line to retrieve, that's where stripping baskets tend to come into the picture. But I use my stripping basket for both saltwater and freshwater alike because I do a lot of kayak fishing. And a lot of times, even with a good kayak, you're going to have chances for that line to start getting pulled by the current or getting snagged on the boat. So I love it. It helps me maintain my line. It also can help extend the life of your line sometimes because there's less grit, there's less rocks, less you stepping on the line. All these things can add up over time and deteriorate that line, the coating on the outside of it, kind of put cracks in it, little microscopic things that add up over the years. 20 bucks, you can have a basket on your hip and be able to fish in any situation with that fly line. So if you want to check it out, go ahead and do it. 
this video should have given you enough information on how to build your own and if nothing else this video should have at least taught you a little bit about why people use stripping baskets or why you might see that weird thing on someone's hip when they're out there fly fishing. Let's cover something real quick. This is something I saw on the internet recently. Since we're talking about maintaining fly lines and stripping baskets, this is not a string, okay? We don't call it string. If you call your fly line a string, that is a quick red flag for someone not to hang out with you ever again. Now, we all make mistakes, so I'm not judging. If you've done it in the past, go ahead and put a little stop on that now. You know, conventional line, I've heard it called string. Mm, there's some ups and downs about that too. But when it comes to fly line, I've never met someone that I want to fish with twice that called their fly line string. So please, let's put a stop to that online, in person, anywhere. That's your tip for today. Don't call your fly line string. It's an easy one. Hopefully none of us are struggling with it, but who knows. So if you liked anything about this video, go ahead and hit the comments below with maybe your own experience with stripping baskets. Maybe you've built some of your own and you want to go ahead and let us know how you've done it. For more videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscription button, smash it like you mean it, and I'll see you in some future videos.